Hello everyone, how's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's doing well. Today we're going to be getting back into some more Minecraft Feed the Beast Revelations, or FTP Revelations. Today we're going to be working and solely looking at making a refined storage system. And also trying to get ourselves some farms going so that way we're not desperately looking for food everywhere. Uh, if you have a food idea that you would like me to potentially make in the future... Uh, or a food item that I need to plant today, please let me know. We'll definitely look at it. I know potatoes is probably one of those that's on the top list, which I I've went to a village earlier and got some potatoes. Um, let's see, actually. What is the nutritional value of a cooked potato? Uh, I think it's redstone furnace. Yes, yeah, two and a half ham hocks with three... So it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. But we do have Pam's Harvest Craft in this pack. So there are just tons and tons and tons of items that we can make. Like grilled cheese sandwiches. Look at that. Grilled cheese. We just need bread, butter, and cheese. Cheese comes from milk and salt. Uh, we need butter that comes from heavy cream and salt. So just a bunch of milk uh, and some bread. So, and that's that's pretty good. Four high hawks with was that two, four, six, eight, nine and a half uh, saturation. So I'm not sure what is the best food that has the best saturation. I mean, well, I know what the best food that has the best saturation, and that's the epic bacon. Uh, I don't know if we can actually make epic bacon at our current standpoint. Uh, between episode or between yesterday and today. I moved uh, a bunch of the stuff from that was down over there in the cave upstairs so that way we could potentially have access to it. I did make myself an alloy smeltery so I could start making some dark iron, uh, or dark, sorry, dark steel. Um, I used up all of my my uh, obsidian for that. I moved the or my orange chest up here next to my crafting station so that way if I need to craft something suitably until we get our refined storage system up and running. Uh, so that way, if we have to craft anything, uh, a good deal of our stuff is in here. Uh, let's see, what else did I bring up here? I brought my plants chest, but just mixed it with everything else. And then I made my another one. Uh, I've got a bunch of dark upgrades. I got, like, dark power two. Power, let's say, can I make it in power three? Powered three. That's four. And power three. It takes a double layer with some energetic alloy and pulverized coal. Hey, I could do that. That's easy. Because I, I, I have started getting some of the dark steel armor. I need a little bit more, but I need more obsidian before I could do that. But, uh, like, we've got the dark boots here. Uh, it's got pocket anvil on them. Uh, I got the upper shoes, flippers, things of that nature, so it allows us to swim far. I got a helmet that's got Empowered 3 on it. Uh, we can put... Apier's hat, empowered four, revealing inventory, yada yada, night vision, yada yada yada. Uh, we might actually put a solar, um, uh, a solar thing on that if I can uh, get the things that we need for that. So that way, while I'm walking out in the sun, our stuff is just naturally being generated, our power is being generated. But we do rely on this flux capacitor. Speaking of flux capacitor, can I upgrade this? I need cryothium dust, which needs blitz powder, which needs uh, a fluid transposer with some liquid XP with some snowballs. Hey, I can do that. Let's make a liquid transposer. I know I'm all over the place today, and I apologize if I'm going bonkers. Uh, let's see. No, not for that. Uh, trans... Poser, there it is. Uh, that looks... Uh, I need some more copper. Uh, I had to go farming for some copper. Uh, I did make ourselves uh, a redstone furnace. So that way... and I've got it set up here. <clears throat> I'll show you the little configuration. If I put the ores in this chest, it gets sucked into here. And then it gets outputted on the orange, which gets put it up here. And because this is a double chest and it shares its inventory, it gets sucked down into the furnace... And gets re-put back up in here. And because the furnace doesn't cook things that doesn't necessarily need to be cooked, it doesn't work. It doesn't like like these things, the black quartz. 
it, there's no recipe for burning it. So it won't pull it back in and burn it again. It, what it will do is grab things like the pulverized iron that just got sucked in there. Uh, and it's, it's cooking that up. So, yeah. We got it all set up. Uh, once we get the refined storage system set up, it'll be mostly automated that way, too. So, but anyway, we need some copper. Let's go grab some copper. Chuck that in there. Let's make some copper gears. I need two of them. I need a tin gear with machine frame, which needs some glass. And I know I've got glass over here. I got a whole stack of it over here. So let's grab this out of here, put that in there. I do need to clean this up a little bit. It's got a lot of, you know, unnecessary things in there. But, um, well, once we get the refined storage system, it's it's not going to matter. And I have I have cemented it that it's going to be a refined storage system. Uh, nobody gave me any, like, if should we do AE2? Should we do refined storage? We, we yeah. It's just, it's going to be AE2, it's going to be refined storage, because I do like refined storage just a little bit more than AE2. Uh, AE2, you have to worry about, like, crafter, or, I mean, you still have to worry about crafters in refined storage, but you don't have to worry about, like, uh, channels, like, some cables can only hold 8 channels, some cables can only hold 32 channels, and that's, I think that's the max, is 32. So, yeah, we're just going to work off one, one mega brain, and then we're going to go from there. So let's make ourselves a bucket. And make ourselves a reception coil. Boom. Now we have a fluid transposer. I need to plop this. Oh boy, where can I put this? Uh, I guess I could put it like here, but I need some more cables. Uh, I could put it here. Ooh, nope. I could put it back here where this uh, other one used to be. Uh, so can we, yeah, I'm going to need some more redstone flux cables. So let's make some of those. Uh, let's see. I need to, let's see. Let's just do it the easy way. Let's do that. Redstone. Press R on it. Boom. Made some more. And then we can just do boop, 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 boop. Follow the line that we did last time. Yep. There we go. It should start getting power. We have snowballs right here, so we're going to do that. That in there, and then I'll take my Tome of Knowledge. Yoink. Fill it up with liquid experience. Wow, it held tilled buckets of essence of knowledge. But it's working. So here in just a little bit, we should have some Blitz powder, and we should be able to make the cryothium that we need. Uh, what was I trying to do again? Oh, upgrading this bad boy. Yeah, I just need cryothium dust, which is just snowballs, two blitz powder. So lots of snowballs, essentially, with a bunch, a bunch of experience. Uh, let's see, can we upgrade this too? We just need some signalum. And that's copper, silver, and redstone. So let's grab some of that. Uh, I've got the copper. I need some silver and some redstone. So I'm going to put this in for, uh, smelty mo or uh, alloys mode. So copper, silver, redstone. And I will have to say, the the other one that we had, the, the, the small smeltery, it was, you know, it was pretty quick. Or it was pretty slow, but this one's really, really quick. So look, boom, we already have Signalum. Nice. Nice. And then what do we need? Oops. I need to pull this thing out. And what does I need to upgrade? Oh, I've got everything. Electrum ingots. Boom. Sick nail them. And what's next? Enderium. Oh, boy. So Enderium is Enderium based with sand. This one is lead, platinum, and ender pearls, which we don't have. So this is just going to stay this way for a little while. Cam, welcome to the stream. How would you do? How do you do? How you do? Wouldn't the direct tomorrow be during your stream? We could react to it. Uh, the re the react or the the directs are always during my stream, and a lot of people tend to focus on the directs than come see the stream. But that's fine. Uh, 
But no, I don't watch directs. I don't know how many times I have to tell people I don't watch directs. It's just uh, like the one time I did watch it, it spoiled too much for me, and I don't care for spoilers. So, sorry. I don't know what else to say about that. All right, so we've got the Blitz Powder now. We can make the Cryothium, which I need more snowballs, which there's some right here. Well, no, I appreciate your suggestion. I really, really do. It's just every time, like, everybody's like, hey, why don't you watch the, the, the Direct or whatever? I'm just like, dude, I don't watch Directs. I just don't. And then they ask me why, and I'm just like, because it's spoilery, and then blah, 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 blah. And everybody's just like, well, you should do it anyway because we asked you to. And I was like, ugh, come on. All right, so I can actually upgrade this thing now. Upgrade. Boom. So it used to hold 9 million. Now it holds 16 million. It's a lot of power. Throw that in there get charged. Uh, I don't know what you mean by spoilery. Do you mean like you prefer to go into games blind? Yes! Uh, there was one, I'm trying to remember the game exactly, it's been so long, but I watched a direct a long time ago, and it's basically like, oh, look at, check out the new game, instead of being like, check out this new game that's coming out, yada, 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 like, it was more or less, it was like, check out this new game we saw, and then it was just nothing but spoilery, like, they gave away the plot line, uh, they basically showed the end of the game, and it's like, wait, if I, if I'm watching the end of the game, why do I even play it? Like, if you're going to show me the end, why even play it? You just gave away the entire plot line. You gave away the end of the game. And the twist, the twist at the end, like, why would I want to play it now? I just, I know every almost everything about the game. I mean, granted, you could argue that, you know, playing the game gives you enjoyment, yada, yada, yada. But it's, it's one of those situations where it's like, well, if I already know, it's like... I know there's a bunch of people out there that read books over and over and over and over again and watching a movie over and over and over again. It's like, oh, you find something out new every single time. But, like, if you already know the story of a plot line, like, if you knew how this stream was going to end, would you still watch it? Like, yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, granted, it does end pretty much the same way every time. I don't know. It's, it's, it's convoluted. And I'm sorry that it's convoluted, but it's just the way it is. <laughs> Uh, I completely understand then. Yeah, I've been going the more and more lately. Comp uh, companies show way too much of their gameplays nowadays to sell it easier. Yeah, that's that's it's basically like, look at our game. It's like, okay, what about your game? It doesn't look anything special. <gasps> look at the mechanics. Okay, that that looks cool. Yeah, that's that's kind of awesome. Look at the story, and they tend to go out like they stretch it out so long that they wind up showing. Like, almost the entire game. And it's like, oh, well, thanks. I watched the entire game in, like, five minutes. Awesome. I mean, that's the best speed run ever, but, yeah. Sorry, I don't I don't mean to be a negative Nancy when it comes to that type of stuff, but it's just, I don't know. I, I, I just tend, like, once I had that spoiler, once I had that one, one game that I was really looking forward to get spoiled, it's just, you get tired of, you, I mean, you just, like, yeah. I don't even want to be there anymore. Don't even want to watch it. I mean, I can stream it for you guys. I could just, like, pop it on and whatever, and then, you know, I could just sit here and watch it. But, like, if I if it gets if I get spoiled, it's just like, well, there goes a potential game that we could play. Uh, do some silver. Don't need zinc right now. Do some more quartz. Uh, will silver go in here? No. Yeah, silver don't go in there. Or the poor silver doesn't go in there. Um... 
is there any more ore in this chest? I don't think so. And there's yellowite there. Uh, what are the uses for zinc? You put it in a pulverizer? Alloy smelter it down. Now you can induction smelt it with sand. Yeah, zinc doesn't really do anything. All right, I'm just gonna put these two in there. And then I think I've got some, nope, I don't have any ores left. Alright, I think we're good. I think we're good. Actually, I need to take these bimetal gears and put them over here. I mean, but it was a good idea though, Cam. I really, I really do appreciate the, the suggestions. And a lot of people, and I, I want to make sure that you know that it's not that just, I'm not trying to turn it down just because it's a bad idea. It was a really good idea. It's just I have, I guess I'm just boycotting. I don't, I don't know if that's a proper term to use, but it's, it's just I don't, I don't do that anymore. So I try to stay away from them as much as I can. It's just like, uh, let's see, when Ratchet and Clank, the altered dimension, the one for the PS5, they basically played the entire game in that direct. And I'm just like, why? Why would you do that? Tease it, sure. But don't don't play the entire game. Like, come on. Alright, so you're done? Yeah, you're done. So let me grab my liquid XP from it. Thank you. And blitz powder, I could put the rest of it in here. Actually, no, I want to turn that into cryothium. Um, need more snowballs. Put them away. There we go. And then I can put the cryothium away and put the snowballs away. Oh, wrong one. Apparently there are snowballs in here. Yep, there's snowballs in here. I'll put the rest of them in here though. Uh, I did see that you uh, suggested any Sonic game. I think what I'll play tomorrow is I'll hook up my, um, I'll see if I can't find the hookups for my Xbox again. And I'll start playing, I think it's Sonic Adventure that I got. Or we might, uh, I might go and do, um, trying to find a way to play like the original Sonics from like the Genesis. Uh, I know you said you wanted me to look at Sonic Colors. I did. It doesn't look like anything different than any other Sonic game. So, I don't know. So that one's empty. You are needing to be empty. Actually, hold on. Can I make a reservoir? Turn make that. And I need a bucket. So this holds what? Ten buckets? Can we upgrade it? And can we upgrade it again? And upgrade it again. Uh, we need electrum and... Okay, so I need one piece of gold and one silver. And then I need... What was it? Sick Dalem, which was three, cop uh, three copper, <clears throat> one silver, and ten redstone. Which, whoa, we, we don't even need that. So put that away. And just, yeah, put all that away and put that away. I just, uh, back out. Need more redstone here. Right, let's pull that out, grab that, and let's do that and that. There we go. There's some electrum. 
Make that. Can we, uh, yeah, we can't go to the, this version because we don't have the Enderium, but we can put all the rest of the stuff away. Uh, let's see. I don't need bone meal in here. I don't need prismarine crystals in there. Uh, possibly used feathers. I can put all this gravel away somewhere else. Like in my dank null. Oops. There we go. Boom. Perfect. And then we can put these prismarine crystals over here. Ah, uh, that's... Should I put the redstone? Okay, so will this hold... Will you... Oh yeah, it will. It's got 16 buckets in there. Uh... So instead of deleting it, I'll just put it in this uh, Signalum, <laughs> Signalum Reservoir that holds 160 buckets. Yeah, just just keep it like that because I'll eventually use this stuff. I'll eventually use the creosote oil We're just not using it today. Okay back on track back on track. I got completely like left bald field All right, so we need a farm But the question is what farm are we gonna do we're gonna use the actually additions farm uh, We'll need in Yori crystals in, in order to make in Yori crystals. We need an atomic reconstructor uh, yeah, let's make an atomic reconstructor. Why not? I mean, we definitely could use one. Whoops. Atomic reconstructor. I also will need a... I'll need a button. So let's get some... Get some stone. Grab a button. Let's go downstairs. Uh, I want to hook it up. Let's see, where could I hook this up to? Here? Yeah? Put a button on it. And then I need a redstone torch. Uh oh. Uh, otherwise, it's just going to keep running and running and running and running and running. And I don't need that. Give me a torch. Put it in pulse mode. There we go. And I'll have to put this torch in my bag as a uh, as a tool. That's fine though. I don't mind that at all. Is it nighttime? Ooh. Is there any Enderman around? Enderman. Oh, Enderman. I'm still looking for. Uh. Ender pearls, and Endermen are the only way to get Ender pearls at this time. I'm gonna need like twenty of them. So hopefully we can find some Endermen around here somewhere. Unless somebody knows a, a quicker way or an easier way to find Endermen, definitely could use that. I know I got sidetracked, but I just noticed it was nighttime, so. Ooh, what are these? Are you polar bears? Yep, you are. Ooh -wee. I don't want to mess with no polar bear. I mean, the monsters are all over the place. You know what we should just do? Instead of looking for this, we should just, once we get done with the farm and get done with the, the refined storage system, we should definitely just make a dark room. Because I know Endermen t uh, will spawn in the dark room. And, 
we can uh, just just make the dark room and let let it just accumulate mobs. I think that's the way we'll do it. All right. So the farm. Let's do the actually additions farm. Like I said, we need seeds. Oh boy. I don't know if I have any seeds. Hmm. It has to be wheat seeds too, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's see, let's look at this. Um. Farm ender lilies, red orchids, sugar cane, pumpkins and melons, cactus, nether wart. See, the farmer is a block that can, once placed in the world, plant and harvest different types of crops and other plants, which can be seen on the following pages. The left side of the GUI is reserved for seeds and other things that you should be planted. On the right side will contain the harvested goods. It will farm in a 9x9 nine nine area in front of it it uses a variety a varying method of uh, varying amounts of cf per operation farming basic crops like wheat potatoes uh, canola flax and so on ground will be tilled by the farmer itself okay so i do want to get to potatoes in there but we need seeds so hey no we got seeds Woohoo! And we need Inyori blocks, which is just Inyori, it's block, basically blocks of iron. So let's make four blocks of iron. <clears throat> and what else did we need? We've got the casing already, right? Uh, did we, did we made the casing, right? Where we made the casing? Eh, I'll make it again. And we need to go downstairs to make the Inyori. Just plop that on the ground. Push the button. Ah. Oh. There we go. Push the button. Come on, push the button. There we go. Oh, you know what I could do to make this easier on myself? Give me that button. I can give me uh let's see if there's any wood upstairs. Is there any like loose planks? Yeah, loose planks of wood. Boom. Make a wooden pressure plate so that way. When I throw the items, like, because I can, because these are already made, it won't do anything else. But I can throw that, and it will work. That'll work. I think that'll work. So I now should be able to make the farmer. Yep. And then what else do we need? Uh, we're gonna need a way to power it. So we're gonna need a generator. Generator. Coal generator, oil generator. Yeah, let's make an oil generator. So we need two iron casings. And we need a piece of canola. Piece of canola. I know I've got canola somewhere. There's coffee beans. There's canola. Boom. So we got ourselves an oil generator. Now we need a fermentation... Fermentation barrel. So I'm going to need an Inyori crystal, a wood case, which we've got a bunch that we borrowed. <clears throat> borrowed from uh, our, our village friend and now I need a nut let's just grab all this canola and then we yeah we're gonna need uh oh an inyori so let's get a stack of uh of inyori crystals because I mean, we're gonna need it anyway so especially if we're getting an actually additions so let's get the fermentation barrel 
And then now we need, oh gosh, what else is, what else do we need? We need the fermentation barrel. We need the generator. We need the press, the canola. Canola. Press. Yes, so we need this, we need that, <clears throat> we need redstonia crystals, which, boom, we've got a bunch. So this, this, boom. And then we need goldie nuggets around it, and boom. Okay, so I do need to make another one of these. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. I need four more of you, please. Whoops, uh, this, the farmer. The casing. Because what I want to do is, yes, I know I've got infinite lava, and yes, I know I've got, like, a lot of power downstairs, but if I can have one field of nothing but canola feeding itself, uh, generating power, I can then leach that power <coughs> to uh, the other farm, and then one farm will be powering the other farm, and it will just be a continuous cycle. So that's what we're going to do. And, but the one farm is just going to have all the other stuff that we need. Where one is just going to be straight canola. Speaking of, can we plant this or do I need canola seeds? Can I make canola seeds? I can. Uh, see if I have any though. I could have swore I do. Uh, come on, I know I've got some canola seeds around here somewhere. There's rice seeds. Yeah, we're gonna plant some rice. Um, there's some more canola. Yeah, I don't. Uh, maybe it's still. Maybe I I left. Uh, hey, Mr. Spider. Like, chill, dude. Thank you. Hey. You do it out in the daytime. Excuse me? Oh, by the way, speaking of, um, I figured out what I needed to do with the, uh, <clears throat> the Ender Mach 2 that we built yesterday. Uh, I have to get the site slice and splice. I have to get that up and running. I have to make something called a, a tormented Enderman head. Uh, and 20 levels and put the put that in an anvil to make it to where uh, <clears throat> The ender Mach 2 will have the exact same power and ability as the ender uh, And I did a little bit of testing in a creative world and going to find out uh, The the power of the ender Mach 2 is greater than the end or the ender so I'm definitely going to have to work on work on getting that. So that's cocoa beans. I uh, don't need floral black powder. There's my canola seeds. Boom. Awesome. There's some more canola. I'll grab that just in case I need it. Uh, let's see. What else do I need? No, I don't need any pumpkins. Not yet, at least. I do want to plant some flax. Uh, do I have any barley seeds? Yep. I'll grab five barley seeds. So it's a nine by nine. So something's going to get overwritten. Uh, so there's rice seeds, cotton. No, I don't need cotton. Uh, that should be good, I think. Now the question remains, where should I put this? Like maybe here? Cause I don't, I plan on expanding my base that way. I don't plan on expanding it this way. Cause this is like the beginning foyer area. So yeah, let's, let's start placing it here. I might need to go inside to make myself a hoe. Um, let's see, do I have any sticks? I do grab two sticks. Boom, 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 there we go, grab myself a hoe, 
And let's place it. Let's place the first one. Oh, this is gonna not gonna be enough space. I'm gonna have to exp either expand or find another area. Um. Actually, I think we should be okay. All right, it's one off. Dang it. All right, let me count. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, we're we're off just by a t actually I need 19. We're off just by a touch. Uh, so let's get some dirt. Go ahead and fill this in. That's that's some pretty cord soon. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I think there might be need two blocks in between them, so 20. Like that. And I'll just keep that flush with that. Okay. So what, uh, Cam, if you're still here, what director is tomorrow, uh, that you would want, was you wanted me to watch? Uh, I don't think Cam's here anymore. Never mind. No idea. That's a cherry tree too. Aww. Maybe I can keep it up. Maybe I can keep it up. Okay. So give me something that I have a lot of. Andesite, sure. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one go there and then. One would go there, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so I need to fill this out. Unless I go the other way. Because this one's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then it will do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Actually, let's mark this out, actually. Uh, so, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, hold on, not from there. Be here. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then it would be there. Actually, let's put some dirt there. Good thing I got a lot of dirt. Fill this thing up. Because, I mean, I don't want to just leave it out here. I want to make it look fancy. I want to at least try to make it look fancy. And andesite is not the end-all, be-all. But... One, two, three, four. That's the edge. The other one should be same there. We just need to fill this out. 
So I don't need to go anything past that. And I do, I'm doing it again. I'm doing it. Uh, 